The last business to operate on this site moved out of here about 10 years ago. But now there's renewed hope that a federal transportation bill will help open up this 35-acre parcel of land that has become more or less landlocked. If you look through the trees, you can see the Flatbush Avenue off-ramp from Interstate 84 that runs parallel to this parcel of land. When this was a recycling plant, that was fine, because the only people coming here were truck drivers. But as a development site, that doesn't cut it. The DOT has a shovel-ready plan to replace the 45-year-old ramp with a flyover structure and a separate exit to the now vacant recycling plant property. This project is a poster child for why this transportation bill means tens of millions of dollars for infrastructure, safety and transportation, more jobs and economic development throughout the state of Connecticut. It's part of a larger rebuilding of what's known as the I-84 viaduct, the elevated highway on the city's west side, a highway system that's nearing the end of its lifetime, a new version of which is expected to open up more landlocked property in the city. It will help us uh, recover more of land uh, that could be used for purposes that will both employ, uh, bring construction jobs, and at the same time enhance our ability to raise some taxes. Interstate 84 was designed in the 50s and built in the 1960s. Advocates say rebuilding it with an eye toward better use of the land near it only makes sense. The owner of this land tells News 8 he has had interest from some developers who might want to put a big retail complex here. There's certainly enough land. It's about 35 acres, as I said. But he says they won't get serious until they know there's some sure way to get to it. In Hartford, Mark Davis, News 8.